Take 5, Health Literacy in 5 Minutes or Less. Welcome to Take 5 series, Black History and Healthcare. Today we remember Dr. Solomon Carter Fuller, brought to you by Corpy Pine Coaching Center and Healthcare Access Alliance. Solomon Carter Fuller, born in 1872, is recognized for numerous achievements, most notably the first black psychiatrist in the United States. Born in Monrovia, Liberia to parents of African-American descent, his grandparents were freed slaves that migrated to Liberia. Dr. Fuller completed his college education and medical degree in the United States, attending Livingstone College in Salisbury, North Carolina, graduating in 1893, and later attending Long Island College Medical School and completing his medical degree in 1897 from Boston University School of Medicine. Dr. Fuller was selected by Alois Alzheimer's to conduct novel research at the Royal Psychiatric Hospital at the University of Munich, Germany. He then returned, he then returned to the United States working at Westboro State Hospital in Westboro, Massachusetts. Well educated, Dr. Fuller was a pathologist, physician, professor, and psychiatrist. He became an expert in diagnosing and treating syphilis and training other doctors with this knowledge. While performing autopsies that other physicians didn't want to perform, he made several medical discoveries that contributed to understanding pathologies. In 1919, Dr. Solomon Carter Fuller became part of the faculty at Boston University School of Medicine, where he taught pathology. He developed and edited the Westboro State Hospital Papers, a journal that published local research. Dr. Fuller noted significant, significant biomarkers for the study of Alzheimer's disease. His research is pivotal to what we understand about Alzheimer's today. He published a two-part review of Alzheimer's disease in 1912, which was the first ever comprehensive review of Alzheimer's and the first English translation of the first Alzheimer's case. He left academia disparities in salary and promotion processes, and upon retirement he received the title of Emeritus Professor of Neurology at Boston University, the first for a black neurologist. Dr. Fuller was instrumental in recruiting and training black psychiatrists for key positions when the Veterans Administration opened the Tuskegee Veterans Administration Medical Center, Medical Center after World War I. His discoveries continue to guide Alzheimer's research today. He lost his eyesight in 1944 and was unable to continue practicing. Dr. Fuller passed away in 1953 at age 81 due to advanced diabetes and gastrointestinal cancer. The Dr. Solomon Carter Fuller Mental Health Center in Boston, a part of the Boston Medical Center, is named in his honor. There are numerous awards, program, facilities, and other honors that remain in his name today. Take 5 Black History and Healthcare remembers Dr. Solomon Carter Fuller, the first black psychiatrist in the United States. Tune in to the next video in the series Black History and Healthcare remembering Nathan Francis Mosell. Lastly, like us on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube for not notifications. Take 5. 